Absolutely. Well, again, thank you for having me. I think it is, uh, as you introduced, the reason why the Twitter crypto community cares so much about this question is it's not just about Ripple. It really is, as was introduced, that the whole industry is impacted by this decision. Mm. The irony is the only country on the planet that thinks XRP is a security is the United States, is the United States SEC. Okay, well, Brad, our litigation analysts here at Bloomberg Intelligence think that the SEC ultimately is going to win this. That's just an opinion. It's a hypothetical scenario. But in that scenario, how does Ripple move forward? Look, it, unfortunately, Ripple is already op operating in a world where it's as if we have lost. Despite that fact, Ripple had a record year last year. Uh, we continue to grow very quickly across our major product groups. Now, unfortunately, that growth is almost all coming from outside the United States, and we are hiring more and more people outside the United States. But our customer base now is about 95% non-US companies, non-US payment companies. Hey, listen, bitch. I said I want 100 shares of Ripple. I want 100 shares of Ripple. <laughs> yeah, I know it's going down, but believe me, I know my ripple will be coming up real soon. We have a chance to improve cross-border payments with huge benefits, and there is a pressing need to do so. Uh, but now we have someone from the private sector, uh, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, who is the CEO of the financial technology company Ripple. We're selling technologies to banks and financial institutions to solve a cross-border payments problem. So XRP ledgers tend to close about every four seconds, and they're pretty consistent in that. Bitcoin blocks produced every 10 minutes, but you can have an hour with no block, or you can have two blocks produced at the same time because it is a probabilistic process. Um, distributed agreement protocols are not probabilistic. There's not enough room for all these blockchains. So you see Flow raise a ton of money. You see Solana raise a ton of money. You see, you know, Binance have a lot of money. You're trying to, you know, play their games, uh, do their thing, right? And so unless you can get enough critical mass, you're fucked, yeah. right? And 90, maybe it's 80%, maybe it's 90% of the blockchains that you'll hear about, read about, see, are done. They're not gonna make it. XRP is a fantastic currency to use for, among other things, hedge funds. We need to move a lot of money very quickly. We make investments all over the world. Our LPs come from all over the world. And using banks to move money is a pain in the ass. I mean, it takes a day or two to move money around the world. And with XRP, our, our very first close was 50 million. We moved that money, in, and I'm not shitting you, in like three seconds. And I think it cost 20 or 30 cents. Um, that's, that, you really need to think about that. This is something the empire must have to stabilize our currency. And it is coming. And I think, I think there's a chance it comes before the election. Digital currency solution uh, is, the, is the most important technological advance I've seen since the internet. Uh, it has the capacity to do lots more, but it has, certainly has the capacity to enable us to move anything of value around the world at the speed of light at no cost. But the most important piece, which is one that people aren't focusing on, is the protocol. The underlying protocol by which we agree to do these, to conduct these transactions. The people who really understand what's going on with digital currencies understand that putting these protocols in place, uh, XR, the Ripple protocol, and then enabling those protocols to cause transactions to occur. And let's not forget, Ripple picked the toughest use case in the digital asset space over anyone. And that's why it's taken the longest. The, the people who don't see it today or who didn't believe it today will look back and say, oh, that makes sense because they didn't take the time to do their own research and understand what Ripple is actually doing. Why is Rosie Rios' name on your money and why is she on the board of XRP? Why is she on the board of Ripple, who's looking to use XRP to move money around the world cheaper and faster than anybody's ever done it? Guys, all you have to do is reach into your pocket, grab your money, and pay attention. These are not tough clues to find. They're right there. The SEC announced about a month or two ago that they're going to establish a node on the XRP ledger and other open and permissionless ledgers. The SEC didn't call Ripple to ask permission for to do that. They're just going to do that.